Hey guys, it's me, Indiana Jones, back again with another challenge and another playlist. And this is being hosted by Corey of Crafted by Corey. She's a dear friend of mine, and I love the idea of making little mini things that you can put on your tear tray and other little nooks and crannies in your house. Anyway, if you are new here, thank you so much for coming by. I know I have a lot of new subscribers this month, so I can't thank you enough for spending some time with me. So just let me know below which one of these little items did you like today? And I like to call this episode a few of my favorite things. Don't sing the song, because I'll get in trouble, but I already hear it in my head. So let's check out a few of my favorite things. Let's go. Let's get this episode started with these little seedling pots from the Dollar Tree. Now, I decided to call this episode a few of my favorite little things, because this is part of Corey's challenge to make little minis and you know i have a fascination with hats and fascinators and basically anything i can put on my head yes i have tiaras i have headbands you name it i've got it but i have a very extensive collection of hats vintage hats that i just find and buy and, and keep and i do use them whenever i can so I decided let's make some miniature favorite things. I also thought this would be perfect little ideas for, you know, gifts for Mother's Day. You can make one of these little hats and put it on her gift if you'd like. Also, thinking forward to Christmas as I always am, you can make a cute little shabby chic Christmas tree with these little vintage looking hats. Now I'm just using some burlap to cover the, the seedling pot and now some beautiful lace trim to match and the lace trim just makes a beautiful brim for this hat and uh, I don't know I just had fun putting this together because obviously it's shabby chic it's cute and uh, yeah it's a hat love it gotta love it now after I finish with the lace I'm just gonna add some ribbon and some embellishments like some tiny little flowers. I gotta find more tiny little flowers. If you have a suggestion where I can find tiny little flowers, let me know because I love using tiny little flowers in these, you know, minis that I love to make. I really do enjoy making these minis. And there I am just adding some flowers and some little pearls. And uh, again, I would love to see this as a Christmas ornament as well. It's just so cute. Hope I have a chance to make some more of these miniature little hats. Also a cute idea for bridal showers, I think. Adorable. Now, since I made a hat, you need a hat box. So I have these little paper mache boxes that I got at Hobby Lobby for only 99 cents. Can you imagine? And I had this paper and I thought, oh my gosh, this paper is perfect to make a little like French looking hat box. So I'm just measuring it out here and I'll be cutting it out and I don't know I just like I said I have fun ma making all of these again another cute idea for a shabby chic Christmas tree yes I know I'm already thinking of Christmas it's crazy but you know Christmas in July is just around the corner and as you can see now I'm adding my Mod Podge I love Mod Podge you guys know I love doing decoupage because it's so easy and especially since I'm using Mod Podge from the Plaid family of products as you know, I am a plaid ambassador, still waiting for my crown or my sash or anything that shows off my ambassadorship. I don't know. I want to make myself a plaid pin. Maybe I'm just going to have to make it myself, but they're awesome. I love all their products. So here I am just rolling and smoothing out that paper. There was a little gap there and I fixed that later on as you'll see. Now for the top. I'm going to use another plaid product and it's folk art paint and this color is just to die for. I love this pink. It's perfect and it actually matches perfectly with that paper. It's just uncanny. It's so perfect. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Anyway, here I am just painting the top and the sides and I'm going to add a little decor on the top to really make it look like a French hat box of some kind. Now I decided to use one of these beautiful little rub-on transfers. It's very shabby chic and I thought it was perfect for the design of my little hat box. So just trimming it off and getting ready to transfer it onto my little hat box top. So 
So I'm gonna use one of those little seed pots once again. And when I smushed it, it looked like a big old handbag. Well, it's a little big old handbag to me. So I decided, you know, this is one of my favorite things is handbags. Most of the handbags I get are from the thrift store. That's right. I'm not proud. You shouldn't be. If you get it for like a quarter or even less of the original price and uh, it's more fun more eclectic i don't know I, I really enjoy thrift shopping so here i am using a napkin to cover my little pot to make it look like a miniature handbag so again we're going back to mod podge i gotta make a mod podge song because i love mod podging is that what it's called no it's called decoupaging decoupage to decorate with pages that's what decoupage means it's french wow Shishi Boku with that one. So here I am just like slathering the decoupage, the decoupage, the Mod Podge, onto my little handbag to be and using one of my collected napkins. I love doing Mod Podge or decoupage. Anyway, again, this is from the Plaid family of products. Yep, there it is. And it's interesting that I'm making my favorite things doing one of my favorite things, which is decoupage. And all you need to do now is add a handle for your little handbag and there you have it. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, so I found this thing at the Dollar Tree. I don't know what to call it. I don't know. I think it's like a terrarium starter thing. I don't know, but it's so cute. But then I was looking at it. I was like, man, I should make like a little mini aquarium out of this. I still might do that. I might do that. I really love this thing. It's just so adorable. It's so like modern boho. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's just cute. Anyway, just find all the little grassy things and moss and gluing them in there and little flowers. And I, it was just so much fun making all of these. And this one was like super easy because it was just like, you know, glue and stick and stick and glue and just fun. Just lots of fun making this. And uh, I don't know, I thought this would be so cute on your desk. It doesn't take a lot of space, but it just makes you smile. It made me smile. Does it make you smile? I hope it makes you smile. Anyway, there you have it. It's just adorbs, adorbs. I hope you try this out. I hope you find it too. Oh, okay, this one was fun. So I'm gonna make a little mini bird cage. Have you ever wanted to make a mini bird cage? Well, now you can. I don't know how everybody else, if, if anybody else has made it, but I decided to make my own. So the base is actually the cover off of a candle, candle holder. And then this is the wire that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. And it's purple, but don't worry about it. We'll change the color. If not, you can keep it the same color. So now I'm making like those little ringlets that are going to go around the cagey part. I don't know the technical term, but the cagey part, those little, the, like those, those hoop things that I'm making, you know, those, I don't know. It's not a hoop. But you know what I mean, those things, that's it. So I'm trying to make sure that they all have more or less the same shape. And now we're gonna start putting them together. It's, uh, this is fun. I had so much fun making this one. I've, I always have fun making the stuff that I make just because it makes me like think out of the box and be really creative and just come up with like cool, cute ideas. And especially these minis. I love that Corey decided to do this whole mini series because there's nothing that makes me happy i mean anything that's small is just so cute you know it's just adorable so here i am gluing together the kg parts um there you go so there's one and you just rip you know bend and repeat bend and repeat is almost like exercise and you just keep adding the kg parts to the base there and you get your little bird cage all ready to go now, sometimes it was a little difficult, but again, all it is is just bending it into place. And I made sure that each one was a little smaller than the one before, just by like millimeters, and then just glue them into place. It's the easiest thing and just so much fun. And then after I did that, I was like, oh man, I need like a little mini bird. And I, you know, the stores were closed, you know, it was late at night. But maybe if I find a mini little bird, I will put my little mini bird in there. And now I'm just putting the ringlets around. See how cute you just like, I'm just pushing them into place so that it keeps the cagey shape. Cagey shape? Yes, cagey shape. There you have it. Look at that. Now I'm gonna take it outside real quick. Yes, in the middle of the night. And I just spray painted it 
silver. You can spray paint it gold or rose gold. Oh, man. Oh, I should have done this in rose gold. That would have been so pretty. <gasps> I might make another one in rose gold. Again, another wonderful idea for Christmas ornaments. People, look at this. How cute. It's just adorable. You can make little shabby chic Christmas ornaments. I'm going to have to have a whole different other tree that's going to be like all shabby chic if I keep making miniatures for me for this challenge every month but uh yeah i love it i i really now i want to make more for ornaments it's just so cute and it's also cute just to have around the house and you know in little in the little spaces and especially for your tear tray this is perfect perfect for a tear tray so i hope you try making your own little oh look how cute oh my gosh i love it make your own cage and show me Okay, if we're gonna make miniatures of my favorite things, we gotta include some coffee. Coffee, coffee. We all like our coffee in one way or another, but this was an espresso cup for Cuban coffee. Yes, I love my Cuban coffee. And this is what they serve it in, because if they serve it in anything bigger, I would probably shoot to the moon, people. So here I'm using Mod Podge from the Plaid Family of Products. Yet again, this was like a Mod Podge day. I love it. Anyway, I'm just decoupaging and putting my little cover. My It's pink with like little polka dots. I thought that would be very feminine and shabby chic kind of. And then all I'm going to do is wrap it in a ribbon. And by the way, if you can't find these cups, just ask Starbucks for a little, you know, espresso cup. I'm sure they'll give you one. Um, and all I'm going to do here is just wrap it in that, of course, my favorite kind of ribbon, which is gingham. I love black and white gingham. Wrap it in the black and white gingham and then using these pretty little uh stickers or yes yeah, they're stickers from dollar tree that one was just perfect the black and the pink and that's pretty much it i am done with my little coffee cup once again something cute for your tear tray something cute you can even consider for your christmas tree and uh it actually could be a cute little gift holder for mom you can you know give her a little gift certificate in there or or a little a little doodad for mother's day there you go cute So I hope some of my favorites were your favorites too. If you are new here, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks again to Corey of Crafted by Corey for hosting this challenge. As I always like to say to my friends, stay safe, be kind, God bless you, and remember, live the adventure. <laughs> DIYs, thrift flips, store hauls, life crafting, decor, and more. It's all here at Indiana Jones. Try it out. Thank <laughs> you.